Hey folks, ever download your data to find that the track's not recognized correctly? Follow along and I'll show you how to fix it. When we jump into analysis, we see that our downloaded session's not showing the correct track. In fact, it just says new track, not what we really want to see. There's two ways we can fix this. The first is we can go to our track map and segments division button, click it, and we'll see it pops up with the correct track. What happened here was the car didn't complete the whole lap. So when the software went to look for the lap, it didn't see a good one as a reference. Very easy to pop in here and pick one, but I'm going to show you another way too. A neat button that I like to use a lot now is the open selected sessions for analysis, and it lets us pick which profile we want to use. So if you have a number of profiles, you can open right to the one you want, or you can open to the default aim profile. I'm going to hop into that default aim profile real quick. We can see it pops up when we have our video, we have some data here, but we don't have a good track reference. So the same idea. We're going to click on our segments button, and then we can go in and pick our track map and segment selector, and we can pick the proper track map. In this case, it's Lime Rock. I'm just going to pick the RS3 splits. We say OK. It's going to assign that for all sessions of the same day, or we could do it for just this session. It's up to you on how you're looking at your data. Once we say OK, it pops up, and we can see we've now fixed it, and we're back to Lime Rock. I hope this helps you out, and follow along for more tips and tricks.